I think that um, people in general, not just Roman Catholics, have a schizophrenic attitude toward nuns. Um, I should mention that although when we say nun, we automatically think Roman Catholic nun. There are nuns who are not Roman Catholics. Um, the motion picture Black Narcissus was about Anglican nuns. There are nuns among Lutherans and other Christian groups. There are nuns in non-Christian groups, such as Buddhists. Okay. Now, why do we have the schizophrenic attitude? On the one hand, we see them as the brides of Christ. We see them as women who are just beautifully dedicated to helping other people or to worshiping God. I happen to be an atheist, but I do think that a lot of people who are believers have a great deal of um, just respect and admiration for nuns, even reverence for nuns, because of the fact that the these are women who are attracted specifically to either serving other people, serving God by serving other people, or to spending their lives worshiping God, which explains why in a lot of movies and um, television shows, they are treated with a great deal of respect. There's also another side to that. Uh, nuns are um, very heavily represented in horror movies. They're very represented in pornography or erotica. They're very well represented in, you know, in what's called nunsploitation movies, which often have a sexual aspect and are a horror aspect. And that also is built into being a nun because they're simply because of the fact that um, they do not marry, they do not officially have sex, they do not have children of their own, and, you know, they are also set apart, if the, at least if they're cloistered, they're set apart from society as a whole. Now, there's something kind of contradictory about being a nun. Okay, it's likely that throughout history, women chose to be nuns, or many women did, because they wanted to get away from men. They were man-haters, or they were women who feared men. Now, I want to make this the point that being, hating men and fearing them are two different things. And some women might hate men and not be afraid of them. Some women might be afraid of them and not hate them. But both groups, historically and even today, might be attracted to the convent. Because you don't, on a day-to-day -day basis, deal with men. However, at the same time, they are in a religion that is patriarchal and that puts on males only in you know decisive positions or positions of actual power so that even as they are set apart from men they are under the authority of men which can of course be exploited uh, nuns have been sexually abused nuns in addition nuns because they simply because they might be frustrated from the fact that they are not having sex um are seen as very, you know, disciplinarians, very strict disciplinarians of children. And then again, there's a, there is an internal tension in there. These are women who don't have children, but they often are put in charge of caring for children. Okay. And they are women who um, are supposed to be not having sex and also, at least technically, not supposed to be having orgasms. Masturbation is not a major sin in the Roman Catholic Church, but it's considered a like venial sin. Okay, and that is one reason why we associate nuns with uh, as being very heavy disciplinarians, and they have a reputation um, in parochial school of uh, laying on the leather or the cane or the paddle with a great deal of enthusiasm, and that may very well be that they're um, getting a sexual kick, whether they know about it or not. Okay, now, having said all that, though, I do not want to come across as somebody who believes that nuns are all, quote, perverts, unquote, or that they are, in any sense, you know, um, 
disordered women. Um, I want to make it clear that the, you know, the first side, the good side has quite a bit to say for it. They do do a lot. They, you know, there's a life of self-sacrifice and many of them accomplish much that is wonderful and much that is good. Okay. And I hope you like hearing that and will subscribe to my channel.